So when you open up the real film uh, project, you you are going to be met with the real Burns project timeline. And this is going to be at 1080p. And you are, uh, again, going to see your color presets, your lens grime controller, your exposure, your sprocket, all the things we keep touching upon. Now, to change your content in the real Burns project, you simply want to double-click inside the... Uh, the timeline, the comp here, and it's going to bring you to this uh, main timeline where we have all our commonly seen tools right there, right? Presets, grime mixer, film gates, camera quakes, everything I keep repeating. And as I told you, it's all the same. So again, at this point, you should be certainly used to seeing these all above your content, very organized with my OCD. And moving down, you're going to see your scratch mat, for which you can turn on and off if you decide to, or replace by simply double-clicking and replacing your mat. So let's look at the first comp here. And these are all going to be the same. So comp uh, real burn one, two, three, four, five. Essentially, you're going to take the same process. So let me show you one. If uh, you double-click into real burn one, and we're going to go inside there. And once again, just like you see in your your main timeline here, your tools, you're going to see in each comp, okay? Flexibility. And for the most part, these will have a camera two or maybe three in some cases. That's just going to give it that kind of quick cut going from maybe a tighter shot to a wider shot. So if you wanted to go in and change, let's say, the fire dust, you simply just double click go into your fire dust and if you wanted to even just say add some more dust you could just duplicate this if you want or you could just add more just say reveal layer source and project and you can just simply grab another one stack it on and change your uh, blending mode to something like add okay so now we have a few different formations and maybe even duplicate this bottom one here and uh, pull it down a little bit more and make that in add blending mode as well so now we have uh, three different mats kind of overlaying each other so it gives the illusion of a lot more uh, fire dust happening so if we go back into our real burn for a second Okay, so to change the actual image inside or in the text, you then want to go to your placeholder here. So if you double click on the placeholder, you are going to be met with a color layer here. So if you just click on that, you're going to see that it just has a few different color tones and you can play around with these. Maybe add, and this is, might be a good time where you can simply drag and drop one of your presets. You're going to see a paper layer here for which you can also just modify and change. You know, if you shut that off, you're going to kind of get a different look that you see here, but you can also change that texture. We have our text pre-comp here. So if we double click, simply change our text. And then we can, of course, change our video so if you didn't want this dork in a mask you could simply just change it so you can drag and drop your video or photo I'm gonna pop it right underneath the the text pre-comp and again you just may have to uh, scale it to fit or not depending on what you use and that is simply it